Hi, welcome to this first episode in putting together an Oculus Quest app using Unity. So, the first thing we need to do is go to Installs, click on your three little dots, and Add Modules. Make absolutely sure you've got Android Build Support installed, otherwise it's not going to generate the APK for you that will then launch on the, on the Quest as a standalone game or app. Okay. So once we've done that, the, next, the other thing you have to do is go on to the Unity Asset Store and make sure you have got Oculus integration on your assets. So here I am, I'm on the Asset Store, I've typed in Oculus integration, you can click on this and add to your assets. Now I've already done that, so mine's already on Unity. So I'm then going to go on to Projects, I'm going to add a new project, uh, now I'm to create a new, sorry, I'm going to press new projects. I'm just going to choose standard 3D. I know we could go for universal pipeline render, but for this one, I'm just going to keep it nice and simple, straightforward. I'm just going to call it Quest Test 2022 uh, B because I've already done one to make sure it all does work. Press create. Now, this is the, the bit you have to be a bit patient and just wait for it to launch. So, I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay, so Unity is now finally loaded up and um, we've got our, our window project ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do is go on to File, Build Settings. I'm going to click on to Android and I'm going to press Switch Platforms after I've just changed the texture compression and press Switch Platforms. This again can take a few minutes. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back with you in a moment. Now, the next step, once we've imported, uh, sorry, converted it to Android, is to go into Player Settings, and then we can go to our XR Plugin Management. We're going to install the Plugin Management. Sometimes it takes a few seconds, sometimes a few more minutes. See how long it's going to take. So again, I think I shall pause it and be back with you when it's finished. Okay, now that's installed. We can just click on the Oculus. Um, and this will allow, obviously, to, to create the Oculus app. Now, the next step we're going to need to do once this has finished compiling is go and make sure we've, we've imported the Oculus integration package once this is finished importing. Okay, so that's the um, XR management sorted out. So now we are going to go onto our window package manager Wait for this to finish. Now at the moment it says packages in project. Well, it's not in our project, so I need to click on this and go on to my assets. So you will need to have made sure that you are logged in into your Unity account. I'm just going to scroll down. Here's my Oculus integration package. I'm going to press import uh, and I'm just going to let it import everything. There's a lot of assets that we might never use, but just while we're learning, it's a good idea to have it all there. And plus picking away at it to decide which ones you need and which ones you don't can take a while. Okay, so I shall press pause while this imports and I'll be back in a few minutes. So you can see we've got all the options, there's a lot of stuff there. I'm just going to press import and wait for that to come in. Okay, so that just took about five minutes to import. So now I can close this down. Um, and the answer is no, no, I do not want the newer plugin. Every time I've pressed that, it has corrupted the project. Um, so I'm just going to close that down. I've now got an empty scene. I'm going to click on Oculus. In fact, before I do that, I'm going to add some ground. So if I go on Game Object, 3D Object, I'm going to stick a plane on there. I'm going to make sure it's in the zero coordinates. Yep, that's fine. I'm going to just make it a little bit bigger. Now I'm curious to know what textures has, has Oculus brought in. So I'm just going to filter through for some materials or some textures, have a quick look. And it's not filtering them down for me. Oh, I shouldn't have pressed that. Maybe I shouldn't have pressed that. It's going to make things all go slow. Okay, there we go. It's now come up. I saw, as it was importing, I saw something called wood, so I was going to have a quick look for that. But it has frozen. Okay, so as I was saying before it went on a pause, as I was importing, I saw some texture called wood, so I'm just going to drag that across, so I've got something to look down at. I'm going to add another game object, which in this case is going to be a sphere. Again, that's on the zero coordinates, so I'm happy with that. I'm just going to raise it up out of the ground, so it'll give us something to look at. And now I can go, I'm going to get rid of that, back onto Oculus, 
into VR, into prefabs. I'm going to drag the OVR camera rig onto the screen. And I'm just going to pull this down a little bit. So that's obviously where the camera's going to look at. Now it's important for me at this point. Oops, seems to have gone somewhere. Where have we gone there? Not sure I've lost the ground. Okay, I just lost the ground because if we look at the coordinates, it's dragged itself on to this area. I don't want that, so I'm going to bring it back up into zero coordinates. And then I'm just going to pull it back a little bit. There we go, we can see the sphere. Now it's important that I don't pull the camera up to the where I want it to be because um, I'm going to put it to floor level. So when we do run some the quest, it's going to take into account your height from the actual ground. And because the plane's at zero, that should be your ground height. Okay, so that's, we've, we've now got a scene ready to go. We could at this point obviously import any other assets, blender models, etc, etc. So now I'm going to go on to File, Build Settings. Um, I'm going to go on to Build Itself. I always like to create a little folder called Distribution. I call it Dist for short. And inside that, that's where my APK is going to go. So if I just press Test 01, this is now going to start building my APK. Now before I press Build and Save, if I'd gone on run device, default device, if I had my quest plugged in, which at the moment I don't have it plugged in, I could choose my quest. And at that point, once it's finished compiling, it will automatically copy it across to the quest and then run. But your quest has to be turned on and active. So if it goes into sleep mode, it doesn't work. So I just tend to watch it compiling before, it com finished, fin before it's finished. I put the headset on and I can see my thing launch. So I'm gonna press save. Um, the first time this runs, this will take a little while. Usually though, second, third and so on compiles are a lot quicker. The key thing is though, is keep your assets small. The more textures, the more models, the more things you import, the longer it will take to compile. I've had some of my projects take over 10 minutes. And 10 minutes to me is a long time to wait, just see if that one line of code worked. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there for the moment. Hopefully for you, this will have now got your little scene working. And in our next... In our next uh, session, we'll start adding some interactivity. Okay, see you then. So, once it's finished compiling, you'll have a nice little test.apk inside your distribution folder. If you did miss the opportunity for it to automatically copy across and launch, you can use SideQuest, which I've had to use a few times I've missed that opportunity, um, to transfer the APK to your quest and launch that way instead. Um, especially if it's just taken 10 minutes to compile and you missed it.